Hello and welcome to another Lockdown Learning with me, Paul Holland. You are probably doing your GCSE German exams or revising for your A-level exams. This is just a very short video to build on another one that I've made. Uh, hopefully you've looked at it. It's all about the perfect tense, how to form the basic, very common past tense that you'll use quite often in German and in conversation in particular. And you do already probably understand that you need three parts. The subject, the auxiliary, which is normally haben for the vast majority of verbs. And then at the very end of the sentence or clause, you have a past participle. And in my other video, I go into some detail as to how to form that structure. But there are just a small number of verbs which don't use haben, have, basically, in the middle of this of the construction um, they they don't use that verb as the auxiliary they use the verb sein which means to be and here they are all on the screen or at least some of the main ones I'm sure there are plenty of others that you uh, will come across especially if you take German on beyond uh, GCSE uh, but here are your main verbs which you will find happen to use sein as the second part of that construction in the perfect tense. What you will probably notice is that all of these verbs, or most of them it seems, um, have something to do with movement. So they're called verbs of movement. They're to do with going or coming or running or becoming something else. So it's not just about movement, it's about transition from one state to the other. Uh, so we've obviously got um, uh, becoming something. So if you become a different person or you become a different uh, thing, whatever that might be, then then you will use sein in the middle. Ich bin something geworden. I became a teacher. Ich bin Lehrer geworden. And on a more metaphysical level, if you like, you've also got verbs here, including dying and being born, which obviously represent transition from one state to another. And you will also encounter a number of these verbs at GCSE and in common usage in uh, in a form with a prefix on the front. Uh, that's a separable verb. So um, as I discussed in my um, video on the perfect tense, the prefix gets pushed a little bit further away and the GE, the ge element, is often pushed in between it as well. All of these verbs are strong verbs. Um, the ones that I've listed here certainly uh, all seem to be strong verbs. There are a couple that are weak or mixed, uh, but the majority of them that you'll come across are slightly irregular in their past participle forms. So do have a look at that and make sure that you get them right. So, ich bin um sieben Uhr angekommen. I arrived at seven o'clock. Wir sind dann mit dem Bus abgefahren. And umsteigen, here's another one. Uh, to change trains, you, we, we, we changed trains in Stuttgart. Uh, wir sind in Stuttgart umgestiegen. Did you notice it's wir sind, not wir haben. One tiny point to make here as well, if you study French or Italian, uh, some of those um, verbs that you encounter, which are reflexive verbs, they also take être. In the case of French, for example, they are être verbs, so they use the verb to be. That's not the case in German. German just continues to use haben. So, I hurried somewhere. Uh, ich habe mich beeilt. I had a shower at 6.30 would be Ich habe mich um halb sieben geduscht. And it's there with Ich habe, not Ich bin. And one final, possibly useful 
um, thing for you to know here is that if you replace sein here, uh, if you replace it with the imperfect form of the verb instead of the present tense that you've always got in the middle here, ich bin, du bist, er ist, if you replace that with ich war, angekommen, or er war, schon, umgestiegen, uh, he had already changed trains, then you'll notice that you've pushed it further back into the past. And that means that it had already happened before the events that you're talking about. And we call that the pluperfect tense. Okay, so I had already arrived. Ich war schon angekommen. Um, he had already fallen down three times before this. Er war schon dreimal gefallen, umgefallen, fallen over. So, there are the main verbs that you are going to need for certainly GCSE and plenty beyond as well. And these are the verbs that use sein in the middle. And as we've said, they're all to do with movement or some kind of positional change, perhaps with the exception of bleiben, there to stay. So, um, I stayed in a nice hotel. Ich bin, not ich habe, ich bin in einem schönen Hotel geblieben. But apart from that, uh, that's a really useful list for you to take on board and to make sure that you've committed them to memory. Good. I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you did, please subscribe, please like or leave a comment. Thanks very much. And um, please don't hesitate to check out various other language and art history and cultural uh, themes that I've got in various playlists in lockdown learning. Great. Good luck, thank you, and goodbye.